Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. On the last episode, we went hunting with Charles, and on this episode, we are going to see Leviticus Cornwall's train. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's get it, guys. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch, being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch, being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will so be coming kind. north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. Uh, yes. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. Ah. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. There's a miss. Must be melt. Out of the 
the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing, before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. Not again, Micah. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Ah, yes. Running cable. Unspooling it. Just like work all over again. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. There's our man. Gentlemen, it's time. Drop the train. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Yep. Blow it, Bill. Here we go. Shit! No! What? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you? <laughs> said it was fine. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh, Here we go! Here we go! Javier! Hey, down here! 
Oh, shit! I've got you. Now stop yelling. Help! Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He didn't he make fell. it. The others will get him. Come on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Yes, you go. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Show him. I love Lenny's confidence. Watch it! Move them ahead! Alright! Lenny, those sons of bitches! Kill every last one of you! Good shooting, kid! I can see now why the O'Driscolls brought so many boys up here for this! Arthur, get over here! You two alright? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Oh, shoot. You got no way in here. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us 
But you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Strike a match. Unless you got a death wish. That's step back, fellas. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Get on this train. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Letter to Levitas Kiss Cornwall from Leland Oil Development Company. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are... Yet to receive a payment of 2000 for the in initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation, Amberina, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898. Here. On receipt of the funds. Give me those. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of findings within the month. Invoices, Yours, blah, blah, blah. respectfully, James Critchley, head of account, Leland. Not Wood. really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. <laughs> Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? No. No, this looks like something. How's it looking in there? I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. Yes. Cigarettes. Just waiting on Bill you, sack. Arthur. One more later. Are you done in there? Almost. Letter to Archibald Jameson. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of the mismanagement of financial difficulties on the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Annisburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondences. Correspondence, yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Right. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah.
Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Get a move on. Loot this guy since he's so conveniently on the way. Loot this guy. And this guy. So I'm not gonna get really get into it here, but there is a t actually a ton of foreshadowing. In this train, in those letters, believe it or not, but uh, that'll be important down the line, not and not right now. Um, Bill, he blew it all right, but he didn't blow the track. He blew, he blew the the whole job. What the heck is that up there? Guys, stupid, stupid five o'clock shadow. What is that? My hat. That's that's my hat right there. That's good. I need that back. <laughs> Bless me. Let's get this train started. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine's. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Freaking Arthur, down. you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey.
guys. We're moving on. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. All right. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So... Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Duchess' talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Who? Around 13. I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. <laughs> Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and oh, repose boy. in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. 
And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. Just the way it is. Always have. <laughs> me, Maybe. you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Working on there anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Five X yeah. ginseng. Five X yarrow. Indians been updated. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. It's gonna take forever to jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. <laughs> Must have Here been horrible are, going around Always with these wooden home. wheels. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know see if i can strike up a little business of course herr strauss I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. <laughs> now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Mm. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town 
Little way down the track, name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson! Sleep, I've shave, shit change clothes, story. You do it properly. My gosh, Tilly. Well, I mean, my gosh, Grim Susan. What would Tilly do to you? Chapter 2. Horseshoe Overlook. A couple of weeks later. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Oh. That is going to be it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We had a lot done. We we robbed a train, and we, we left little old Coulter up here and came down to Horseshoe Overlook, and now the... I mean... For the most part, the world is o is open to us, and, uh, yeah. I mean, it's untelling what the, what the next episode will have for us, because the world is open to us, and it's untelling what I'm going to do next, guys. So, if you like what you saw, you know what to do, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Laters.